Hello everyone. Um, so I'm making this video to show you guys exactly how to navigate through your virtual classroom um, for the third nine weeks. So let's go ahead and get into it um, real quick. Actually, hold on because my computer's about to die. <laughs> so hold on. <laughs> All right, I am back. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, I'm gonna share the screen. So you can see what's going on. Okay, so right now we are in um, my photography class. But this video basically goes for everyone. It's the same thing um, uh, as far as, you know, what you need to get out of this video. So, all right, so it says, hello everyone, here is the link to your second nine week assignments. We're in the third nine weeks, so my bad, I'll fix that um, in a minute. But you're gonna click on uh, our virtual classroom link right here. And then it'll open up this, uh, this power slide. Okay, so let me go ahead and present it. Now let's, I know it seems like it might be kind of a lot, but um, it's just an easier way for me to keep up with everybody's projects uh, versus having to look so many different places. I know, I know it's a lot. It looks like it's a lot, but it's really not. All you need to focus on is your individual grade. Okay, so sixth grade assignments, worry about sixth grade assignments. Don't worry about the seventh grade and eighth graders. Seventh graders, same thing. Eighth graders, same thing. So sixth grade, you're gonna find all of your projects for the next nine weeks in this column, seventh grade in this column, and then eighth grade in this column. And they also all have the due dates for your projects underneath um, the project number. All right, so, for example, project number one, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And that is due January 22nd, all right? And I'll go into all of the explanation of this in a second, but um, I also wanna show you guys this. If you click on any animal on the page, it'll take you straight to the first page. So and if you click on project one, it'll take you to project one. Or project two, take you to project two. But if you wanna go back to the first page, click on any animal, all right, and it'll send you straight back. Now, um, for project two and three, I have not put them up there yet. The closer you get to your due date, so let's click on project two, the closer you get to your due date um, for the previous project, like uh, project one is due January 22nd, um, that week project two will be posted up here. So if you want to get a head start, just keep an eye out and it'll be up there around that time, all right? And um, what was I going to say? So let's click on the animal. Go back to this. All right. So um, what was I going to say? Let me check because I wrote this down. Oh, all right. Let me just go ahead and explain your first project to you guys. All right. So for sixth grade, you're going to be sixth grade is all photography now. All right. So even though it might say art on your um you're a power tool, we're still gonna be working on photography, okay? Because last last year is actually, well, last semester it was actually photography and art, but we just did half a, sem or a semester of art. Now we're gonna move on to photography, okay? So, um, the explanation for this project, you will learn about the top 10 photography composition rules and then take a picture of three of those composition rules. So what you're gonna do is just like it says right here, virtual students click on the photo to read and see the photography rules rules and composition. So you're gonna click on that photo and it'll take you to this website and there's 10 photography rules and compositions listed right here. You're gonna read each description Okay, and then look at the, pay close attention to the, to the photo and what it's trying to describe in the paragraph about the photos. All right, get an idea of those before you just start taking pictures. Okay, I know everybody loves to take pictures so you're off the bat. No, just hold on, read first and then take pictures. Okay, <laughs> all right, so once you get an idea of all the photography rules and compositions, then what you can do is I want you to choose three of those and then you're going to use a phone or camera to take pictures. So um, I've also uh, sectioned off um, uh, for your day one, day two, day three. So 
So day one, and that's why I've given you so, well, longer periods of time to complete these. This isn't, this first one isn't due until January 22nd. So that's about, uh, what, 10, that's a little over 10, yeah, 11 days? <laughs> to complete these, okay? And you can do this in 11 days, all right? Just pace yourself. I've also added a timer here at the bottom to all the slides. That way you have an idea of how long to work. We have 25 minutes in class face-to-face, -face, 25 minutes of class outside, uh, well, virtually, okay? This will kind of help you balance it. So it won't take you that long to read the article and then just practice taking photos, okay? Choose three of those compositions, take the, take the photos. But then, all right, take a break. Day two, complete the following today, Jamboard goal, um, and I'll tell you what that is in a second. Finish taking your photos and uploading them to your damn board, okay? So um, uh, once you uh, finish everything, like as far as taking pictures, somehow upload it to your computer, whether it's, uh, if you have a phone, you can send it to your email, you can upload it directly using the cord, um, Google it. Okay, there's plenty of ways that you can upload photos onto your computer. You can do it. All right. But once you upload those, um, you are going to, well, put them onto a Jamboard. Now, what that is, I'm going to click on the link, in the highlighted blue that says Jamboard. All it is, is this piece of paper. Okay, it's like a digital piece of paper. And then you can either upload an image use an add image at the right, all right, and browse, upload an image, okay, let's say for example, I have a, uh, I don't know, search for an image, da -da -da -da. find the image, click on it, it'll show up, okay, all right, you can also copy and paste images onto uh, the Jamboard as well, but once you upload your photo and you've placed it, you can move it however way you like it, all of that, I want you to add a post-it to basically describe which um, composition this is. And remember, you're going to have three photos, okay? So which composition is this and um, basically what that composition is doing for the photo. And also put a post-it of your name, okay? Now, what's cool about these post it is you can make them big as you want. Excuse me. Click. You can make them as big as you want or as small as you want, okay? Remember, there's other people that, are, that have to post. If we need to add another page, we can do that too, all right? But um, try to be respectful about the placement of stuff. Don't just move everybody's stuff. All right, if we need to, we can make another page. All right, so um, here's an example for this composition. I focus on leading lines and how this technique can help lead a viewer's eye throughout the entire photo. So like the road right here, you can see it going throughout the entire photo and it makes you take a look at the hills, the trees, the way the road is winding. It's not just a straight across road, okay? And it looks like it's going towards a mountain or something. All right, so you can use those to describe your photo, okay? And then to add a post-it, sticky note. All right, you click on this button right here, it'll pop open a sticky note you can change the color to whichever color you want that way you all don't have the same color sticky note um and then you click right here and then write what you need to write okay all right so that is how to do that and yeah so each class has their own jam board and whenever we finish project one we'll move over to the slide or this um, page on your Jamboard uh, for project number two, okay? And the same thing for seventh grade and for eighth grade. Um, let's see. So let's go back over here real quick. All right. And I also want you to have a post-it, uh, if you kind of don't know what to write about, on your post-it, explain what you learned from this project. So I did that a little bit and how you think you did on it. So how do you feel about your own artwork? How do you feel about your own photography? All right, don't forget to write about that, okay? And uh, let's see, 
All right, so this is seventh grade. Seventh and eighth grades are the same thing. All right, so um, I'm going to explain these, but just know that this is the same project for seventh grade as it is for eighth grade as well. Okay. All right, so for this project, you will use the following video to learn how to shade basic forms. All right, begin each day with mindful meditation and a mission statement. Day one, oh, uh, mindful meditation and mission statement that is, uh, I forgot to describe that. <laughs> that is on this page right here. And basically it'll help you with some meditation techniques. Like if you're like, I don't know, freaking out about a certain project or all this cool work virtually that y'all have to do. Um, It'll give you a little bit of time to just breathe and get a hold of your thoughts, okay? And this is our art class mission statement, all right? It is not just for people inside school, it's for outside of school as well. Um, so you can take a look at that, all right? And yeah, I mean, just do the best you can, <laughs> okay? But those are there to help you as well. All right, um, so let's see. All right, and the, this is due, due January 22nd as well um, for seventh and eighth grade. But for this project, you will use the following video to learn how to shade basic forms, all right? And you're gonna use this video to help you um, with that, all right? So complete the following today. Watch the video located on the right and practice drawing shapes and forms until 4.22 on the video. So you don't have to watch four minutes and 22 seconds of the video. All right, now for day two, you're gonna complete the following today. Finish the video and draw the rest of the forms, okay? So just finish the video and drawing along with the video. Um, For day three, submitting a photo of your work on our Jamboard. So on one piece of paper, you're going to have all of these uh, basic forms um, on there, but you're also going to add shading and you're going to add shadows to it, okay? You're going to be using value to help with that as well, all right? Now, whenever you finish, all right, day three, you're going to submit your photo of your work onto your Jamboard, all right? So this is seventh grade Jamboard. I'm going to click on that. It's a seventh grade jam board, and this is my example, and this is also the picture, all right? If you move the picture, you can obviously see that I did not draw this. I got it from um, the YouTube video, or the picture from the YouTube video, but for example purposes, it is what it is, okay? So for this drawing, I focused on controlling the value of these 3D forms. I learned that the harder I press down with my pencil, the darker value I could get. If I did not press as hard, I would, it would be a lighter value, all right? So like I said before, sticky note right here, you can choose your color and all that good stuff. And then um, I also want you to put your name beside it. So let me go ahead and put my name. Uh, Miss Nava. Wait, let me just put Nava example. That is not how you spell example. How do I spell? <laughs> All right, there we go. There's an example. We have that. All right. And I'm gonna move that right over here, okay? And I can make it smaller as well. All right, so I hope that makes sense, guys. So instead of you uploading it to your Canvas, um, I feel like this will be a little bit easier and that way you can like describe your work and then everybody gets to see your work, okay? Um, and like I said, be courteous to how you, um, you know, move stuff around. If we need to, we can always make another page. All right. And in order to make another page, you just go to the next one. All right. If we need to move this and change this to project one continued, we can do that. But don't just go moving people's stuff on willy nilly. All right. That's, that's rude. I don't like it when people do that to myself. <laughs> so don't do it to anybody else. Okay, um, let me make sure that that's it. And I think that is it. All right, uh, I think that is it. Here, let me click on back on this screen. 
go. Stop sharing. There we go. Okay. Look rough. Didn't wear no makeup today, guys. I get full view today. All right. But I hope that helps. And remember, if you need to reach out to me, um, I'm going to leave my email and stuff underneath uh, the sign up page. Okay. And I'm also going to be sending out messages um, through your Canvas notifications and stuff like that. Uh, no, Canvas announcements. My bad. All right. Um, most likely weekly, probably not every day, but weekly for sure. All right. So I hope you guys are doing great and I miss you all. Love you guys. And I hope this helps. Okay. If you have any questions about anything, please reach out to me. All right. Love y'all. Bye.